Unity XR Interaction Toolkit is a cool new Unity package that allows you to create virtual reality games for pretty much every major virtual reality platform that there is. Today, I'll show you how to install and get started with Unity Virtual Reality Development. I'm currently using Unity 2020.1.2, but using a future version should be fine. Inside Unity, first go to the Package Manager and open up the Unity Registry. Select Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. If you don't see it, you need to go to Project Settings, choose Package Manager, and enable Preview Packages. Now, you should be able to install the XR Interaction Toolkit. Go back to Project Settings and select XR Plugin Management. Then install the XR Plugin Management. The XR Plugin Management tool allows us to choose which VR device we would like to build to. If you have an Oculus or a Windows Mixed Reality device, you can select one of these. But if you don't see an option for the OpenVR SDK, which is used for Valve Index and the HTC Vive, download the package from the link in the description below. Then you can import that package you downloaded into Unity by dragging and dropping. When you go back to Project Settings, then XR Plugin Management, you should now be able to see that you can build to OpenVR. Now let's add a plane into the scene and set the position to 0, 0, 0 if it's not already. Delete the main camera. Create a brand new game object called VR Camera Rig. Again, set the position to 0, 0, 0. Then create a child game object called Floor Offset. Now create a child camera from the floor offset. Name it VR camera. We need to add a component called tracked pose driver. The tracked pose driver component follows the current position of the virtual reality device and applies that position to the position of your game object. Because we're trying to track the headset, set the device to generic XR device. Go back to VR Camera Rig and add the component XR Rig. Now you want to drag in the camera floor offset right here and also drag in your VR camera. When you test it out, you might see that your head is on the floor, especially if you're using an Oculus. If so, you would want to set the tracking origin to floor. I'm using a Valve Index, but I'm going to set mine to the floor to support the Oculus as well. Now we need to make our hands. Create a game object and call it Hand. Set the position to 0, 0, 0. Create a cube as a child. Call it Hand Mesh. Set the positions to 0, 0, 0, then resize the hand mesh to 0 0.1, 0 0.05, 0 0.15. This is going to be our hand model. If you have a 3D model of a controller or hands, you can use that for your hand mesh. Now we want to save the hand as a prefab. Then we can just remove it from the scene. Add a new game object to the floor offset. Call it left hand. Now give this an XR controller component. Go to the new component and change the controller node to left hand. Then move your hand prefab to the model prefab slot. Duplicate the left hand game object with control D and name the duplicated game object right hand. Then set the controller node to right hand. And there we go. Now we have 3D hands and a head in VR. You should now be able to interact with any game object that has a collider in Unity. Like this ball after I add a rigid body. Or all these balls with rigid bodies that I put in my ball pit. I really love virtual reality 
because it makes you feel like a kid again. This is actually pretty fun. If you like my video, please, please leave a like. In return, I'll jump into the ball pit from the ledge. Woo!